Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Ganit. My name is Samir Sardana. Today we are going to discuss episode number 5 of 50 Golden Rules or Theorems of Geometry. Helpful for all the students preparing for MD entrance exams like CAT, IFTZ and also students preparing for government jobs like SSC, CGL and CDS and students preparing for IP mat. Today, one beautiful rule will be discussed. In fact, with this particular question, we'll be covering two theorems, two rules of geometry. Very, very helpful rule. Uh, so let me first tell you how that rule can be used directly in the question like this because if you know that rule answer can be made in 10 seconds and we will be learning the proof of those rules also don't worry about it so guys uh, let's first solve this question let's learn what is this rule and and what how to implement that rule question says ad length is 24 you see that triangle abc is a right angle triangle as you can see that uh, this is an angle 90 and AD length is given to me as 24. So this length AD is 24, right? And the length of CF is given to me as 7 cm. G is centroid. Now what is centroid? Centroid is a point of intersection of the median of the triangle. So can I say AD is a median? CF is also the median. What we are supposed to find out is the length of GH. So see that this is the length we are supposed to find out. D is a midpoint here. Why D is a midpoint? Because AD is a median. F is a midpoint here. Why is it's median? Because F is a midpoint here. Now, listen everybody. The rule that I want all of you to know is that in a right angle triangle, sum of the square of the median on the perpendicular side, four times the sum of the squares of the median on the perpendicular sides will be equal to five times the square, will be equal to five times the square of the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay, that's a one rule. The second rule that you're supposed to know is in a figure like this where AD and CF are the median and you're joining the line D and F which is cutting the line passing through the centroid G that is also this will also be median because it is passing through the centroid G. This point of intersection between these two lines that means the ratio of BH HG and GE will be in the ratio of 3 ratio 1 ratio 2. That's a second rule guys, right? That BH ratio HG ratio GE. So these are the two rules that I want all of you to know to solve this question. And if you don't know, keep this in mind. I will be giving you the complete proof of both of these two theorems, right? So this is what we are trying to do in this series of 50 golden rules. We will not just be doing questions. We'll also be covering 50 theorems, right? With proof. 3 ratio 1 ratio 2. So these are the two rules that you're supposed to know. What are these? In a right angle triangle, 4 times the sum of the scales of the medians on the perpendicular side is equal to 5 times of the square of the hypotenuse and the ratio of BH, HG and GE will be 3 ratio 1 ratio 2 where D and F are the midpoints of these respective sides and BE is also the median, G is the centroid and these line, line joining D and F intersecting with this line as H. So BH, H, G and G E will be 3 ratio 1 ratio 2. Why this rule? We'll talk about it, right? So first let's, let's use these two rules to answer this question. Because if you know these two rules, this question would be a cakewalk for you. How? Because I can straight away, I can straight away use the length, I can straight away find out the length of AC using this because AD and CF is given to me. So guys, 4 times of AD square, that is 576 plus CF, which is 7, that is 49, will be equal to 5 times of AC square. So can I say 4 times of 625 is equal to 5 times of AC square? This is 125. Can I say that AC square will be 500? Can I say the length of AC, the length of AC, will be equal to 10 root 5. That is our hypotenuse length will be 10 root 5. Now, because I know that E is a midpoint of hypotenuse. Why? Because B is a median. Why it is a median? Because it is passing through the centroid. Okay. So, these two length will be same as the length of BE. Now, another, another rule, right, that you're supposed to know, I guess this question will cover three theorems, right? That in a right angle triangle, the circumcenter lies at the midpoint of the hypotenuse, right? So you can say that length of AE will be same as length of BE that will be same as length of CE that is equal to the circumradius of the triangle, right? The midpoint 
of the hypotenuse is nothing but the circumcenter, right? So this length is also R. Now, once you know that the length of AC is 10 root 5, can I say the circum radius R will be half of it, that is 5 root 5. And R is same as the length of BE because that's also the circum radius. Because if I'm keeping E as a center, then the circle will be passing through three vertices, then this also becomes the radius. So BE will also be same as 5 root 5, right? Now, once you know BE is 5 root 5. I can use this ratio to get my answer. What I want is length of Hg. The length of Hg would be 1 by 6 of the complete length Be, right, which is 5 root 5. So my final answer is 5 by 6 root 5. This is the correct answer, right? That's the answer to this question. And that's a implementation of the rule, right? So we have done a question on the rule that we have just studied. Now let's talk about the complete proof of both of these two, right? Let's talk about the proof now. Just take a screenshot. So the length of GH is what we are supposed to find out, which is five by six root five. Okay. Now talking about, talking about the complete proof of it, guys. Now, see that. Let's talk about the proof now. The first theorem, right? Where I'm supposed to prove that the four times the sum of the scales of the median, four times the sum of the scales of median will be equal to will be equal to 5 times of AC scale. This is an easy proof. This is very, very easy to prove, guys. You can easily do it. See that. In a right angle triangle, can I apply the Pythagoras theorem here? Right? Can I say that AB square plus BD. Now, BD is what? It is BC by 2. So, BD, BD square and BD, I am using as BC square, BC by 2, BC square by 4 ho jayega. Right? BC ka square karunga. So, right. AB square plus BC square by 4 will be equal to AD square, right? What I'm doing is applying a Pythagoras theorem in this triangle. Now similarly, can I apply the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle as well? Yes, I can do that. The length of BC square plus BF is half of AB and square of that would be AB square by four. This will be equal to, this will be equal to, this will be equal to CF square, right? CF square. Now, if I add these two equations, if I add these two equations, guys, I'll get my answer, right? Straight away, the first property will be proved. AB square plus AB square by 4 would be 5AB square. BC square by 4 plus BC square would be 5BC square upon 4, right? And this is equal to AD square plus CF square, right? And now you can see that 5 can be taken as common. AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square, Pythagoras theorem in the whole triangle will be equal to, will be equal to 4 times of AD square plus CF square, right? That's it. This is the first theorem. 4 times the sum of the scales of the median is 5 times the square of the hypotenuse of the triangle. Now, the property that why BH, HG and GE will be in the ratio of 3 ratio 1 ratio 2. Now, we already know that centroid divide the median in the ratio of 2 ratio 1. This, this I, I hope everybody know that. Centroid divide the median in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 with the larger part towards the vertex. So, can I say that BG and GE will be in the ratio of 2 ratio 1? So, if I am saying that, if I am saying that GE is let's say 2 just for the sake of easy calculation, I'm assuming that the length of GE is 2 so that we get the direct ratio. We don't get ratios in fractions because ultimately a fraction ratio can be converted into the complete ratios by multiplying the value in the denominator. So to reduce my calculation, I'm straight away taking GE as 2. So if GE is 2, can I say the complete length BG would be 4? Now, now I get to know that complete length BG would be equal to 4, right? Now listen everybody. See that we know that D is a midpoint, F is also a midpoint. This triangle will be similar to this triangle or I can say that the length of DF will be, DF will be parallel to AC and DF is parallel to AC as well as, DF is parallel to AC as well as the length of DF will be half of AC, midpoint theorem. I hope you guys know what is a midpoint theorem. In this triangle, if I am taking the midpoint of this side, midpoint of this side, line joining these two midpoint will be parallel to this side and it will be half of this length. That's a midpoint theorem which you can easily prove with the similarity. So can I say 
can I say that the length of DF will be half of PC. Now, if this is a ratio of the sides, can I also say that ratio of the median of this triangle and this triangle will also be in the same ratio, one ratio two. So, can I say now, now because this line is parallel to this line, midpoint theorem. So, if this green line, you can see that BE is a median to the side AC, it will also be the median to the side DF. Why? Because this dashed, uh, this, this dashed orange line and this line are parallel using midpoint theorem. This green line B is a midpoint to this, is, is median to this triangle, right? So this will also be the median to this triangle because both of these two lines are parallel. So if, if the ratio of this triangle, if the ratio of the side of this triangle and this triangle, the last triangle, is one ratio to, right? That means DF upon BC, as you can see that df upon bc is one ratio to can i also say that the median of this triangle that is bh and median of the last triangle which is be will also be in the ratio one ratio to and as you can see that the whole length b i have assumed this to be two and this length is four so complete length be is given to me as six so can I say the length of BH will be also three times, that is three times, this is one ratio two. So if I'm making it six, this will become three. Now, if the whole length BG is four, BH is three, so HG will be one. So hence prove that the ratio of BH, HG and GE will be in the ratio of three ratio one ratio two. So two theorems we have covered uh, in this uh, fifth video of 50 golden rules of geometry that 4 times of AD square plus CE square will be equal to 5 times of square of hypotenuse and the ratio of BH, HG and GE will be in the ratio of 3 ratio 1 ratio 2. Keep this in mind, G has to be the centroid and this line H must be the point of intersection of the line joining the midpoint D with F and the median BE, H is that point of intersection. So this is the complete video. Thank you so much for watching the video. and episode links of all the previous four episodes that I have taken where in every question I have discussed a theorem like this is also given in the description part of the video. Uh, subscribe to the telegram group also to clear your doubts and anything that you want to, uh, uh, any, any help that you need for your exam preparation, whether you're preparing for MBA entrance exam preparation or you're preparing for government job entrance exam preparation, you can, you can have my mentorship by joining my telegram group link and you can contact me there directly. Subscribe to the channel for all MBA entrance exam preparation as well as for government job exam preparation. Thank you. See you in the next part.